What's up guys, Togo here and welcome back to more Pokemon Omega Ruby. In the last episode, we caught Tello after a lot of searching and we completed the southern part of Route 104. And in this episode, this is the second to last time we will be starting an episode in Petalburg City. Just because I'm pretty sure we're going to have to start an episode here at some point when we come to do the gym. But maybe not, so this could very well be the last time we start an episode here. But it's been far long enough spent on that one area. And actually, you know what? This is going to let me redo these search levels. Uh, it looks like you do need to back out each time. But anyway, now we have our search level for Wingle up to, up to 13. Wait, if I come back here, is that going to... No, okay. So I wasn't sure if it was going to go up to 14 or not. I believe this Wingle doesn't raise your search level because it just stands there, but it will count it as seeing it if you have not seen the Pokemon before. Now, in the last episode, we also got Visitor the Yanma, hatched from the egg we got two episodes ago. So in this episode, we're going to enter on... You know what? Did I talk to you after beating you? There are some things money can't buy. Pokemon battles are one of them. I don't know if I did, but now I did talk to you after battling. I know I, talk, I spoke to the other kid, the guy running in the sand, so now let's head on in to Pelberg Woods. There are still Pokemon in this area that you have not caught. So we still have... We have less than half of the Pokemon in this area. I believe there are seven. Trainer tips. Any Pokemon that is that appears even once in battle is awarded experience points. To raise a weak Pokemon, put it at the top of the team first. As soon as a battle starts, switch it out. It will learn experience points without being exposed to any harm. Yeah, that's what I've been doing with... Uh, what do you call him? You can actually see the Devon Scientist we're going to need to save up there when you come over here. That's what I've been doing with Visitor. So now let's head through, and sounds like I found a Talo. But the question is, where is it? It's right there. Anything special? Peck Guts. The one I caught last episode has Guts, and it was holding no item, so... Unimportant. I probably should be encountering them to raise the search level, but I mean, I'm not going to intentionally get into a Pokemon battle just to do that. S sometimes there are things on the ground, even if you can't see them. That's why I always check where I'm walking. Wow, I wonder if that's a hint to come over here and press A on this thing of light. Uh, well, over here, actually, you get a potion. Now, I said in between videos I would buy 10 Pokeballs and get a Premier Ball. I only ended up buying 5 because I'm poor and running out of money. And I didn't have enough money. Dang it, that's a Pokemon I haven't seen yet. I bet that's something like a slack off based on the cry. Something I need to get. But I'm not going to be able to make it up there, so that's really a shame. Now let's actually head back out to Route 104 really quickly. You're no better than a thief if you try to steal someone else's Pokemon. You should only throw Pokeballs at wild Pokemon you encounter. Yeah, tell that to a uh, Pokemon XD in Coliseum. Right here there is a Pokeball, same as in the original games, so I kind of got six Pokeballs. And over here, just a ledge to jump back down, so no reason to. Might as well just run back through this grass, because there are still four Pokemon we need to catch in this forest. And I didn't even encounter anything, so it's not like it mattered. Now right there we have a Bug Catcher. I caught a whole bunch of Pokemon! Go, 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 my Bug Pokemon team! Now I wanted to see if there's a design on their pants, because I couldn't really tell. And it looks like it's just a blade. Bug Catcher Lyle. I can't really tell what that is. I'll try to look at it in, rec in the editing, but I may forget, so whatever. I mean, you guys can pause the video and see if you really care. Uh, let's see. what Now, what is Yanma's actual stats now? Or what are? 13 attack, 15 special attack. So, obviously, higher special attack, but its physical attack isn't awfully... M it's, it's not too much lower. So at this point, I think we can start fighting, especially since we're a level higher. And never mind. I mean, we don't take that much damage, and we get speed boost activating. And that's weird that it's, uh, it has a blue background, but this is Omega Ruby. I would have thought it'd be the red background for abilities in Omega Ruby, and the uh, blue background in Alpha Sapphire, but whatever. So get used to seeing this. This is what we're going to be dealing with using Yanma and Yan Mega on our team. We get speed boosting, gaining so much speed, but like that's really a bad thing. It doesn't take that long for the little thing to go through, and this is actually pretty good for getting experience. I mean, we're probably already faster than everything, so or at least these Wurmples. 
so I don't think it matters just because Yon Mega is a pretty fast Pokemon to begin with. Yes, please, I really hope you spend every turn going for String Shot because every turn I will just get a speed boost. And then, like, my amazing ability just counteracts every single thing that you're trying to do to me, and then I don't have to deal with actually taking any damage. But of course you're not going to listen, and you're going to do a full 4 damage. And... Uh, this should take you out. There we go. Level up, please. Nice, there we go. Level 7. Uh, is that tied with Beowulf, or is Beowulf 8? Plus two, it's plus two to both attacks, plus three to HP, plus two to speed. Not bad. Uh, yeah, look at that. That is actually pretty decent. And another Wurmple. We will stay in. I actually wanted a quick switch and then press B just to see what level Beowulf is at. Beowulf is also at seven. So Visitor is now tied with Beowulf at level seven. But Yanma, or Visitor I should say, has the amazing speed boost powers of magic. Uh, I was starting to say, I don't know if I actually ended up even starting to say it or if I just thought it to myself. I wonder when you, if you, when you switch, yes, thank you for going for String Shot. When you switch your battle style, like, or the, the scene to not show, like, attack animations, does it also show, like, the, the ability activating? Like, how does that work? I wonder if it pops in with the little blue sign, and then just does- I have all these Pokémon, but I couldn't win. If it shows the sign, but just not the actual gaining of stat, like the little red thing, or if it doesn't even show the sign. I caught a bunch of Pokémon, now I'm out of Pokéballs. That's how I'm going to feel after I do this area. And I didn't buy any more potions, just because I figured I had, like, enough. Do I really need to use a potion on Visitor? I don't- think I do just yet and I should actually be sorting I mean there's not really much to sort at this point yeah never mind and let's see oh never mind got an encounter let's see now I'm pretty annoyed that I'm I'm pretty sure that that was a slack off that I saw there that I couldn't reach because slack off is a 5% chance of appearing and it only appears in this forest, and that's the only way to get it. And it's really annoying that I missed out on my chance to do that. Got a Paralyze Heal there. Uh, that sounds like a Talo. But where's the actual grass? There we go. Uh, no, search level zero, so this is something I haven't found yet, actually. I should have realized when it said search level zero. Oh, that is a Shroomish. That is awesome. That is a 10% encounter. Well, actually, the other three Pokemon that I don't have here, besides Slackoth, are all 10% chances, so... This is going to be a Shroomish. Nice. Uh, Shroomish is actually a really cool Pokemon. And, of course, I need to catch one. Now, let's see. Great! So I can't even tell what ability this has because I'm paralyzed, and so now I'm unable to check if it has Effect Spore or Poison Heal. Um, that did so little damage, I'm actually going to switch out to Beowulf. I'm not going to predict the Double Stun Spore. I mean, it's a wild Pokemon, so I guess maybe I should predict it to go for something so stupid. Alright, now it's going for Absorb. That's fine, you're not going to get back barely any HP. There you go. Enjoy that while you can. Please don't kill. There we go. Oh, and I got it confused. Not bad. Now, here's the thing. I've been, I've been like, treading around this, but I, you know what? I'm gonna go for another confusion. Just because I don't think I can catch it at this. I should actually check what its catcher it is. Alright, yeah, that didn't kill. Okay, hurt yourself in confusion. That'd be great. Thank you. Oh wow, I am in dangerous territory. Um, now here's the thing, I'm actually not going to catch this. And there's a pretty good reason why... Except now I need to go heal because I don't want to use my single paralyzed heal that I just got, so... Now the thing is, I would like to use a Breloom on my team. The only problem... Oh, no, I'm an idiot. You can't do dex nav searches without catching them. No! 
No, I'm an idiot. All right, I'm going to go back and heal, and I'll be right back. I can't believe I just did that. All right, I'm back. I can't believe I just did that. That is so dumb. The reason why I didn't necessarily want to catch it is because I didn't want to nickname it and then ruin the nickname because I want to make sure I get one with Poison Heal and not Effect Spore. And I wanted to do Dex Nav Searching so I can make sure I find the right one, the right ability, and... Uh, I failed because I'm an idiot. I actually really like how they show the fence here because I believe it was only on the opposite side in Emerald. And I don't even remember if the fence was there in Ruby and Sapphire. Actually, I think it was, but I'm pretty sure it was only on the Rust Burrow side. And I can't believe I just did that. I feel so stupid. My gosh. No, hopefully. Hopefully. Well, the problem is... Alright. Well, that's way up there. Uh, search level one. You know what? That's probably a shroomish, and I'm not even going to be able to reach it. That just sucks, because I have to go talk to this scientist guy. Hmm, not a one to be found. Hello, have you seen any Pokemon called shroomish around here? Oh, way to rub it in, jerk! I really love that Pokemon. And here we go, Team Magma, first encounter! Wow, really? So I don't know why, but all of a sudden, the capture has been freezing. So I think I may need to restart my computer. Uh, all that it showed there that it cut out was just a, a little pan up of a close up of the sprite of the Team Magma Grump, but it didn't actually show any animation, just blinking like this. I was going to ambush you, but you had to dawdle in Pendleburg Woods forever, didn't you? I got sick of waiting, so here I am. You, Devon Researcher, hand over those papers. Ah, uh, you're a Pokemon trainer, aren't you? You've got to help me, please! Huh? What do you think you're gonna- you're doing? What, you're gonna protect him? No one who crosses Team Magma gets any mercy, not even a kid! Come on and battle me! So here we ha go, we have our first battle against Team Magma. Oh man, I'm really bummed out. That's the first time it's frozen since I- I've gotten this new method of recording, and I'm really hoping it's not gonna continue freezing. That would really suck. This thing is level 9. That is really strong compared to Visitor and Beowulf. So I'm going to switch to Beefcake to handle this Poochiana. And is the recording lagging a bit? I don't think so. No, it, it looks to be at the same frame rate as the actual game. Alright, that's good. Uh, let's go for Tackle, of course. Because it's not like the Poochiana went for Growl. See, look at that. Two shot. Uh, a Howl Tackle only did 6 damage. Thank you, Impish Nature. You're too good. And you're done. Sir, please. Oh, of course, Pointless Critical. Come on. The game just really seems to hate me right now. Alright, Visitor grew to level 8, so now Beowulf is the lowest level on the team. You're so strong! I'm, I mean, all you had was a level 9 Poochiana. You're kind of really weak. Grr, you've got some nerve meddling with Team Magma. Come on and battle me again. I wish I could say that, but I'm out of Pokemon. And hey, we have Team Magmar also, so after something in Rustbar, I'll let you go for today. Ooh, that was awfully close. Thanks to you, he didn't rob me of these important papers. I know, I'll give you this as my thanks. And instead of getting some measly Great Ball, now we get the EXP share. The EXP share is a super high-tech device. I had to strain every fiber of my brain and body to develop this device. Turn the switch on and the battle experience will be shared by all party Pokemon. Please, give it a try, and with this, I'll restore your Pokemon's health. It's another technical advance that I'm proud of. What, you have potions? Pfft. That's not much of a technical advance. Technological advance. Ah, didn't that Team Magma thug say they were after something in Rustboro too? Oh, it's a crisis. I can't be wasting time. You say as you slowly walk away instead of using the B button. Anyway, now we have the EXP share. Turning this on this turning on this special device will allow all the Pokemon on your team to receive EXP points from battles. It comes as a default on. So let's turn it off. Yes, that's right, I will be playing through the game without using the EXP share, because the EXP share makes it way too easy, and there's no need for it. Yo there, your Pokemon doing okay if your Pokemon are weak and you want to stay and you want to avoid battles, you should stay out of tall grass. You know what, I'm actually looking for tall grass because I... Uh, that is a Zigzagoon. Uh, anything special about you? I mean, I have search level 15. Uh, held item is a potion. Not worth catching just to get a potion. Pursuit, also not super worth it. Alright, come on. Please give me a shroomish somewhere. 
Oh man, I can't believe I did that. Uh, I think that's actually a slack off. Actually, that could be Cascoon or Silcoon because I don't know their cries, but that cry sounded kind of... Nope, I was right. Slack off. Awesome. So good. Finally got that 5% chance again. Although I say finally, it hasn't really been that long. So hopefully I can catch this and not screw up like I did with Shroom God, I'm such an idiot. Why didn't I just catch it? Ah, oh, that was so dumb of me. I can't believe I legitimately did that. Well, I mean, I guess it wouldn't really be a Let's Play without some stupid fails. And, wow, we have basically the opposite abilities. I have Speed Boost, and she has Truant. Oh, uh, come, come on, no crit, no crit, no crit. Ooh, that was close. Haha, -ha, enjoy your Truant. Slack off this little thing around. Uh, that's weird, it shows up in red for the opponent, so maybe it's just, um... I wonder if they... Maybe it's blue for you, red for opponent. And I wonder if perhaps that swaps an Alpha Sapphire. I have no clue whether or not it would. Come on. Alright, excellent. I was going to say, I don't think I can really weaken this Pokemon much lower than this. And I love the pattern on the ground. Those little pixelated lights. I know they look super pixelated from up close, but honestly, I think that adds to the quaintness of how cool it looks. Awesome, that actually, wow, this thing weighs 50 pounds. I mean, I guess slods are pretty heavy. So, we can't slack off. Not something I want to use on my team. Gosh, oh my, that, that would be ridiculously difficult. And, no, I'm not trying to do a dex nav search for that. I'm trying to do a dex nav search for, uh, Shroomish. Uh, that sounded like either Cascoon or Swellow. I think it was down here. Uh, no, because I'm not hearing any cries. Oh, there it is. Uh, well, it's definitely something I haven't seen, at, so it has to be Silcoon or Cascoon. And I don't believe there's actually a way to tell just from looking here. So, after I encounter this, my party will be full, actually, yeah. So, I'm going to need to go... I did his Cascoon, so now I'm looking for Silcoon and Trumish, both of which are 10% chances... Now, these things are just going to be going for Harden, so unfortunately, it's going to be a pain to whittle them down with Yanma, so I'm actually going to switch out. I should have done this first turn. I don't know why I didn't, or even just before encountering the Pokemon. I will switch out to Beowulf to make this a bit easier to manage. God, I'm such an idiot for screwing up that Shroomish thing. Oh, well, I will... I guess I'm gonna have to try to find one in the next episode because we're running up on time for this one And it will probably end it off after catching this cascoon. All right, that didn't do too much <clears throat> Now I if I can stop clearing my throat I could switch back and go for some attacks But like eh, what'd be the point this is low enough to catch probably and Much easier to actually just go out and catch cascoon and silcoon rat. Wow for real What is this thing's catch rate? Uh, let's see Cascoon has a catch rate of 120. Dang, I did not expect it to be that high. Or low, I should say. Um, that's actually really weird. But it's a lot easier to do this than going out and evolving Wurmples just because training up a bunch of rain. Oh, really? Come on! Why are you being so obstinate? Actually, what is, does obstinate even mean anything? I think it's obstinate, not obstinate. I'm going to look up if that is a word. Obstinate means stubborn. I was correct on that, but I don't think obstinate is a word. No, obstinate is not a word. I just combined abstinent and obstinate. So, yeah, don't be obstinate, kids. Uh, great advice from me. And we caught that. Beowulf reaches level 8. Excellent. No attack. Whatever. Who even cares? 13 special attack. Not gaining that much, but whatever. And no level up for Visitor, but Visitor's already level 8, so got Cascoon added to the Pokedex. Now we just need Silcoon, and hopefully I can fix my stupid Shroomish fail. So we're not going to nickname this thing, and that's going to do it for this episode. I will go deposit these the two Pokemon we just caught, being Cascoon and Slackoth. In the next episode, hopefully we can find a Shroomish, and I cannot be stupid, alright? See you guys next time!